ASBNB has a great mechanism of helping anyone who is interested in becoming a better science communicator hone their skills. We offer a six-week course called the Art of Science Communication. This course is offered three times a year. The course is a way to learn kind of some a fundamental formula that you can apply to every form of science communication you might ever participate in, whether it's a presentation that's kind of easy, like to your lab meeting or your department, or next level would be a presentation at a scientific meeting like this, where maybe you don't know who you're talking to and what their background. Level beyond that is if you want to give a presentation in, to a lay audience. The formula that we will help you learn is developed over a six weeks course. You begin the course by recording a video of you sharing your science um, in about a three minute video. And then you end the course by re-recording that video and showing you know, kind of what an expert science communicator you've become. So it's a great class. It's um, $100 if you're not a member of ASBNB. The great news is it's $25 if you join. It's a lot of fun. We've been teaching the course for about four years now and it's offered all over the world, all different time zones. So no matter what your schedule is, we'll find something that fits you. I like to think about science communication kind of like flossing. So, you know, we all know we should floss but nobody really knows how often or like um, how to do it really. And there's really no negative to not flossing until there is. So science communication to me is really kind of sits in that similar space. We all kind of get it that we should do it, but there's no really perfect way to do it. There are lots of different techniques and mechanisms, including the things that you can learn in art of science communication. But I do know the outcome of not doing it, right? The outcome of not doing it is a society that doesn't appreciate science, isn't excited about science, policymakers that don't want to fund science. So by honing our skills at science communication and by being out there and talking about what we do and being excited about it, um, we can change the perception that society has of science. And I think there's no better cause than that.